a reminder to take a little bit better care of yourself. Because you're worth it. And you can have this feeling. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ryan. Welcome back to another video. You guys are doing fantastic. And yeah, we have the Poco phone. Could this be the best value for the money smartphone? Let's have a look. Like usual, let's start with a quick unboxing of the Poco phone sent by Gearbest for me to test. Pocophone F1 global version, on the back of the box there's a few specs, the 845 Snapdragon, very powerful CPU, liquid cooling system, the dual camera with AI and face unlock and this huge battery, 4000 mAh. It has 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. Remember guys, the Pocophone costs around $300 by the time I'm recording this video. Have a look at the link below, sometimes Gearbest do nice discounts. Ok, there's a silicone case included with the phone, it's a nice touch, you can save some money there. And a quick starting guide, nothing major here. And there's the phone itself, let's put it to the side for now, let me show you what else is in the box. There's a quick charge power brick, Type-C USB cable. The last thing is a SIM extractor tool. And of course the Poco Phone F1. There you have it guys. Budget phone, flagship specs, let me show you everything. Let's start with the specs. I'm so excited to show you this phone, guys. Looks like this is a biased review, but it's not. If this phone is, I'll tell you it's So, CPU, Snapdragon 845, 8 cores, RAM, 6 gigs of RAM DDR4, internal storage 128 gigs. The POCO has face unlock and fingerprint scanner. It also has quick charge, uses a USB Type-C and prepare to be amazed, it has a headphone jack. And to complete the full package, it has an amazing battery, 4000 mAh. To keep things cool, this phone has liquid inside, yeah, that's true. Xiaomi call it liquid cool technology. Yeah, these are amazing specs for the price of this phone. And you might ask, Ryan, is there any negative points? I would say of course there is, guys. This phone has no optical image stabilization, only electronic image stabilization when recording 1080p. 4K, it's a bit dodgy, I'll show you in a minute. This phone has no wireless charging, no NFC, that means no Android Pay, and no IP rating, which means you can take this phone into the water. And in addition, Netflix won't play HD. Okay guys, now let's talk about the build quality. This phone has a Gorilla Glass on the front and the back is made of plastic. Probably doesn't look as premium as some other phones. It's cheaper, that's true, but in the end of the day, probably you're gonna use a case for it, so it is what it is. The display of the POCO. 6.18 inches LCD display with IPS technology. And this guys, in my honest opinion, this is where it falls behind the competitors that use, for example, AMOLED display. Better viewing angles, better blacks. Nevertheless, I like the brightness of this phone, it's very bright and I do like the colors as well. The resolution of the Pocophone is 2246 by 1080p with 416 ppi. On the top of the screen there's the very trendy 2018 notch with the front facing camera, 20 megapixels for this one and the face recognition sensor. At the bottom we can find a chin. In my honest opinion, it could be slightly smaller. Same with the round 
corners. Also, in the chin, we can find a notification LED. Regarding the software, the Pocophone is running MIUI. Out of the box comes it with the MIUI 9, which you'll be able to update straight away, like I did to the MIUI 10. Being myself an iPhone user, guys, don't judge here. I do like the clean theme of this skin. The user experience is very fast. I do like how Xiaomi split it by type of apps like communication, entertainment, photos, etc. So far, so good. And I just read that Xiaomi is going to release the 10.1.1, allowing the Poco to record 960 FPS and the super low light night mode. I will probably make a video of the new update, stay tuned for that. And moving on to another test, let's play some games on this phone. Starting with Fortnite, I set the graphics level to epic, so maxed out, and the game plays Wonderful, no stuttering, no lagging, nothing. Let me show you. So as you can see, plays perfectly. Even when I do quick movements on the map, really good. Moving on to Asphalt 9, same drill, graphics all the way to the maximum. And note that I was screen recording at the same time. Don't mind my skills. Let's try this out. I've been a bit repetitive now, but there's no problems playing games on this phone. I mean, it's good, what can I say? And moving on to the final game, PUBG Mobile, which by default, the graphics are set to the maximum. Let me speed you the video up a bit for you guys and take a look at my wonderful gaming skills. Comment down below. Look at this. Haha, <laughs> one down. Oops, no ammo. <laughs> I'm such a noob. <laughs> nice, very nice. Okay guys, let's do some benchmarks. I'm not a big fan of this type of test because in my opinion it's just numbers. Let's do it anyway. N22 and Geekbench 4. Let's compare the Poco F1 against the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Special thank you to my friend who helped me on this test. So let's start with the N22. Let's bring the three phones to the table, the Poco, the Mate 20 Pro and finally the Samsung S9. So let's start with the Poco, it scored 287,436, the S9 247,435 and the Mate 248,999. So the Poco phone beat these two on the N22 test. Pause if you want to have a look at the detail scores. Now let's have a look at the Geekbench 4, let's bring up the Poco and the other two. Different results here, the Poco scored on the single core 2387 and on the multi core 8565. The other two beat the Poco this time, the S9 was the best on the single core and the Mate 20 Pro on the multi core. And again pause if you want to have a look in detail. And guys, let's do the final test, let's have a look at the camera of the Poco phone. On the rear of the phone we have two cameras, a 12 megapixel camera with an aperture of f1.9 and another 5 megapixel camera which is used to capture the image depth. On the front we have a 20 megapixel camera for your selfies. Alongside the HDR, the Poco phone has the AI for your picture. You recognize what are you taking a picture of and adjust the camera for it. Let me show another example, this time during dawn. 
the phone, recognize I'm pointing at the sky, change it to the cloud symbol, and all I did was adjust the brightness, and that was it. Let me now show a few images, some in photo mode, others in portrait mode. This picture, for example, was shot in portrait mode. When you see that small symbol over there, means you can edit the blur of the background of your image, like so. There's also some light effects and studio lighting you can adjust. Pretty cool stuff. Regarding the video on the POCO phone, you can shoot at 4K 30fps or 1080p also 30fps. If you're planning to do slow-mo, you can do it in 240fps or 120fps. And you have a choice of two encoders, the H.264 and H.265. And now guys, to wrap this video, let's have a look at some footage from the POCO phone. This sample was shot in slow-mo, 240 FPS, Kodak H.264 and it's 1080p. There is no optical image stabilization and this was shot and held. The phone, however, can stabilize the image electronically. Next clip was shot in 4K using a gimbal. The image is steady, but yeah, I'm using a gimbal here and the image was downsized to 1080p for this video. I also like the details of the sky on this one. Next clip, also 4K, handheld without any gimbal. As you can tell, it's a bit shaky. So the electronic image stabilization in 4K, it's basically none. Now 1080p walking, handheld, no gimbal, it's a good opportunity to check the HDR of the camera. Let me do a quick test of the autofocus, amazingly fast. I was really impressed with this test. And guys note, this video was straight from the camera without any color grating. And this finalized our series of tests. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check it out, the POCO phone which in my honest opinion it's a game changer. This phone has an amazing value for the money. And if you follow my channel for a while, you know I like to review this type of products. So saying that guys, it's time to wrap this video. Took me ages to put this video together. Please, if you like it, leave it a thumbs up. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. Saying that guys, Hope I can see you all in the next one and thank you very much for watching.